few people thought it would happen. Well, very few except Steve Young. We'll talk about that in a nice. little bit. <laughs> Plexico Burris making his return after a two-week suspension. Eli and the Giants down three early in the first third and six. Eli doesn't take his eyes off the left side of the field and is hated on by Brodney Poole, only his second pick of the year. Hey, Chris Carter, give us an EA Sports virtual playbook and what Eli got to do. The thing I think that has coaches and other people who watch the National Football League ecstatic about Eli Manning is his ability to utilize the pump fake in the passing game. Now, the Giants have never been known to have a great passing game, but what this does is allow Eli the opportunity to pick out which receiver he wants to throw to and deliver the football on time. One thing Cleveland Browns you need to be aware of, you got a young secondary. And this is the type of thing that drives young secondaries crazy. Manning and the Giants back to work, down three zip, pump fake, finds big Kevin Boss, boss man inside the Browns 35. But Manning's QB rating only 57.1 for the game. Later in the drive, first and goal, Brandon Jacobs in at a 6'5", 260, look out. <laughs> That's determination. That's how you run. That's not determination. That That's determination. just size. It's size and determination. <laughs> when they both come together, it's a beautiful thing to watch. His fourth rushing touchdown of the year. Next Browns possession. Anderson, Braylon Edwards. That's Buck, y'all. Buck is when internal artistry meets physical expression. 70 yards. Longest pass, pass play of the season for the Browns. Steve, how did it work? Well, he just gets outside the pocket, Derek does, and just heaves it as far as he can. He needs a little bit more. He has an easy touchdown. Brilliant does a nice stem move with that. Look at that step right there. Gets a corner to bite, off balance. Now Brilliant uses his speed to get all the way down the field. Boy, he turned Aaron Ross round and round and round. Second to go, big fella, big touchdown. Jamal Lewis, his 60th career touchdown. Browns take the lead 10-7. to Next Browns possession, Anderson getting his hook on with Darnell Dinkins. Deacon's first catch of the year is a touchdown. Steve, use the ESPN axis and school us. Look at the two safeties. They're going to double outside. Now, Derek's going to use his eyes to keep that safety down on the, on the left side of your screen. And the, the inside receiver's got to beat the middle linebacker. It's a mismatch. Derek knows it, lets the ball go. Perfect pass, easy touchdown. Browns up 17 to 7, but Manning answers right back. Emmett, why is this touchdown so easy? Because. I mean, Plexico is inside. The defensive backs should have known if Plexico is inside, he has to come back outside. They're going to try to crisscross the routes to confuse the DBs, and obviously it worked there. Giants down 17-14 at recess. Third quarter, Manning deep for Plexico Burris. The ball goes way over his head. Easy pick for Brandon McDonald. Uh, nine or nine or six or six or Steve, uh, <laughs> what happened? It's just pure miscommunication between a guy that was, you know, out last week. He obviously thought maybe he's going to go to the go route. Flex went to the post. It's an easy interception when you make that miscommunication to me. Led to a Browns field goal. Fourth quarter, Anderson, Edwards, half some. Braylon, 16 touchdowns last year. Only his second this year, but he did get the slam dunk. And the Russian judges gave him a 9.8 for the dunk. Take another look. Edwards shakes Ross again. Ross fell down, couldn't get up. Looked like he was injured. Touchdown for Braylon. Coffin and the Giants down 27-14. Next, G-Men possession. Manning trying to lead him. Finds Burris who makes the catch. Four catches, 58 yards for Plaxico. That one gained 17. Later in the drive though, inside the Browns 10, Manning pressured, gets intercepted by Eric Wright. And here we go. go. 94-yard touchdown. Fourth longest interception return for a Ram touchdown time. in Browns history. Ram he does. He got that look, doesn't he? Ram <laughs> Steve, what? Manning tried to throw off his yeah, back foot. Back why is that, why is that tough? In the red zone, the, everything's compressed. You've got to be able to drive the football. You're going to get the undercut by the DB like that, and you're going to end up. And look, if you're going to throw the interception, Stu, you better go make the tackle. That was the key. Browns win it big, 35-14. The loss snaps an 11-game road winning streak for the Giants, second longest in history. For the Cleveland, first win over the Giants since 1985 and first win on Monday Night Football since 19...